Good afternoon, Grand Rapids. Oh my God. What do we have here today? Any West Africa in the house? East Africa in the house? Appreciate it. 
And uh, as an African, and if you are an immigrant from somewhere else, you know how hard that can be. So when you get hosts who receive you, that is a beautiful thing. However, um, being an immigrant at certain times in this space is difficult. Am I lying? If I'm lying, I won't do this piece. Am I lying? No. All right. So we're going to do this one piece, right? If you remember, about a year ago, um, uh, a certain leader of the free world described African countries and other Latin American countries as shithole countries. So this is a piece that is dedicated to that, and it's called Letter from a Shithole Country. He's funny. <laughs> to whom it may concern. <laughs> Pray me pardon as I purpose to hold this branch parchment still. Branch from wretched bleeding tears and ink that I spill. While sweaty fingertips grasp feverishly at frail depleted quill. Depleted from centuries of writing your story. Not mine. Unto book fill. Pity not my scratched throat. It is merely tired from seemingly silent screams and weeping in wondrous wilderness where the western winds often come to feast while perennial welcoming arms prepare a table lest you not be appeased only to wake at witching hour to your ravishing or cursed be my woeful dreams sneaker not at the mother upon whose children's back your kingdom was built and whose nectar is relentless ever ready to quench your hedonic thirst as your lips drip in sweetness deem not its eternal spring cursed for more certain should tomorrow's top is flowing, your green fields shall wilt. Down here shouting, astounded at the roused mountain upon which you stand, big, I took the skulls, dreams, wealth, and souls you have purposefully plundered. And as wet parchment dries, ink and tired tear stained, I have wondered, how dare you spit upon those in the holes that you helped dig? Sincerely, someone from a shit all time. Thank you. Yeah. I've got a couple more pieces that I'm going to do, all right? But at this point, I think, shameless plug, I've written an uh, autobiographic novel, if you will, of my childhood growing up in Zimbabwe and the things that we experienced. It goes for $15. I have a few copies of it. Uh, it's called Pashena. If you can't buy it today, find it on Amazon. But I'll be up and around for the next few hours. So come and find, find me. Get yourself a copy of Pashena. It's the best read you'll read all summer. Um, oh, they found me already. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's do two more pieces, right? If we are, as Africans, are going to hold those who describe us as shithole countries accountable, uh, it's also very important that we be inward looking. So this one sort of challenges us as Africans. Last night I walked with the devil. He who since Genesis has been the nemesis of mankind and I walked hand in hand last night. And he said to me, Shingi, I know we don't always see eye to eye and yes, it flows within my veins to kill, destroy. But tonight I'm going to take a minute to boast. So we began our travels coast to coast over the land that I love the most. We started off at the southernmost tip, the continent's joy and pride, South Africa. For decades, this in front us by apartheid, but now standing apart as the continent's melting pot. But hold the thought, for in a flash I heard a brother got shot. It's a shame, for the same place I proclaim is earned undesired fame as the world's crime for violent crime. You can imagine my frustration as me and my fellow travelers went on to our next destination, crossing the border to the north, coming forth into Zimbabwe. Once Africa's bread basket, now no longer the case, now merely just a basket case, and face the fact that we gaze upon a place where inflation has risen at a world record setting pace, and the people do their best to get through their days and enjoy, but what can we possibly tell them when 85% of them are unemployed, when they see their cause but their time is too empty to fight? You get the drift, right? That's when the rest of the night, as we marched over to the beautiful Republic of the Congo, to the mystifying sound of the bongos, it is hard 